Okay, so all right, so uh, just working on the um, the code three here. Easy entry, and um, but we just missed it. Unfortunately, we're we're getting in a little bit late here to the room. All right, there's the code three easy entry. for everything which we we just missed by just a few minutes uh, just drop right before the room opened okay it should still be like yesterday I would imagine and that's already a code uh, one uh, market uh, master entry right there. Code one to go short on 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 gold. short signal on euro US dollar and uh, long signal YM long signal ES Okay, uh, Euro US dollar threatening to be an offset entry. It'll go long at 11,737. There it is. It's a long signal offset entry to go long on the Euro US dollar off of the main code one. Uh, I believe that the main code one uh, is likely working again today, just like yesterday. So we can actually nail the trades as they break and they go back the other way. We should be able to nail them all today. Which this, these are the start of the entries right here. These are long signals. This is a long signal, and uh, this is already a short signal. So in other words, it it broke. Now go all the way back the other way. It broke, now go all the way back the other way. Broke all the way back the other way, and broke all the way back the other way. So first it breaks one way, and then goes back the other way. And right now, all four charts are set up to do it. Now, uh, this particular... This particular uh, chart pattern is probably not going to last past this week, probably be gone next week. But that's why it's important to see what's happening as it's happening so that you can adapt to it, adjust to it, use it, profit from it, and then move on to something different, something else. Okay, we've got another signal coming up here. This will give us some direction. Looking for a signal. Short signal on gold. Looking for signals. Long signal ES. Long signal YM. Okay. 
offset entry to go long on on gold offset entry to go long on gold on GC no signal yet on euro US dollar long signal on euro US dollar all right we've got another signal coming up trying to get direction with this thing is it going to continue to go in the same direction or is it going to reverse you get feedback the whole entire time all right looking for a signal long signal ES long signal YM long signal euro US dollar long signal gold GC okay wait a second okay YMES look like they might be offset is still a long signal right now but if the price were to hit 208 on YM it would be an offset entry to go short if it does not hit that price it's a long signal it's still a long signal okay so, so everything is, is a long signal here okay gold looks like it's going to go offset when it hits 475.90 that's it right there short signal on gold offset entry to go short short signal on euro US dollar offset entry to go short this is one reason why you could just like I teach in my class that you can just wait for the offsets to come instead of taking the the original one what is this okay this thing's going offset again okay we're into a new signal here uh, gold already being very choppy code wanting to chop around yeah euro US dollars an offset entry to go short gold I can't tell yet what it what it's gonna be All right, looking for a new signal. Long signal YM. Short signal Euro US dollar. Short signal GC gold. Long signal ES. All right, let's just use the code three on it now. Okay, we've got a short signal on gold. Short signal on gold. Okay, um, let's get some lines up there. Okay, there it is for the ES. Okay, uh, YM has, oh, let's take a look can't quite tell okay YM goes long at 221 it's long okay YM is long ES is long gold is a uh, short yeah gold is short okay this is another one of those times okay gold uh, no euro U US dollar just did it it's a short entry off of euro US dollar main short entry euro US dollar gold is also a short and ES and YM are both long gold or uh, euro US dollar should come down here all right let's get some more lines put up Let's see where we are. 
Okay, there we are for Euro US dollar. Okay, there we are for the ES and for YM. Okay, there it is for the YM. Okay, uh, GC will go short at uh, 72.70. Okay, there it is right there. Short signal on gold. Okay, Euro US dollar going short at 11. 665. It just hit 666. One tick, one more tick down. 665 is short signal on Euro US dollar. Okay, uh, gold looks to be doing it here again. Let's see which, uh, what the signal is going to be. Gold needs to do a short signal. If it does a long signal, it's not good to hold it. Looking for signal here. On everything. Okay, I think the Euro US dollar is going to go short. Go short at uh, 665. All right, looking for signals here. This is the main main code signal here. Uh, this one's working today and all week. So this is an important signal here. Short signal gold. Short signal ES. Long signal Euro US dollar. Still waiting for YM to give a signal here. Okay, it looks like uh, Euro US dollar might be offset. Euro US dollar will go short at 664. It'll be an offset entry to go short at 664. If not, if it doesn't hit that price, it's still a long signal. Okay, uh, gold threatening to go offset. It'll go long at 73.70. If the price hits 73.70, it goes long. Offset entry to go long. Otherwise, it's still a short signal. Why well, am about to go short? It'll go short at. 215. Okay, Euro US dollar is still a long signal. Still no signal on the YM. Gold threatening to go offset. Okay, short signal on the YM. Gold is uh, offset entry to go long. Should continue in their direction, I think. Um, yeah, long signal on Euro. Uh, gold was an offset entry to go long. And uh, ES and YM are just straight uh, short signals. Might get a good drop here. Okay, Euro US dollar going to go short at 665. 665. Okay, there it is. Short signal on Euro US dollar. Getting a nice move down here on the YM and ES. Gold seems a bit choppy today. Oil moving here a bit. We're going to get a signal on the ES and YM here, and the Euro US dollar. Long signal on the Euro US dollar. Uh, 
We had already got a short signal on CL. Okay, uh, shorts, offset entry to go short, Euro, US dollar. Okay, we're about to get offset entries to go short on the YM if it hits 117. It's an offset entry to go short, 117 on the YM. ES is an offset entry to go short at 63.25. Both of them will be offset entries to go short. There they are. Short signals. ES and YM. Okay. I just made a mistake right there. They're actually not offset entries. They're just straight signals. On the ES and YM, they're not offset entries. They're straight signals to go short. Uh, G uh, CL is a straight signal to go short. And... He Euro US dollar Boy, it's hard to tell. Alright, new signal coming. You can use these for uh to continue to hold if you're already going one way and it, it signals to go in that direction, or you can use to get out. If you're going one way and it goes the other way, you can use that as an exit to lock in profits. You can use it for entries to try to catch something big. It's very versatile on what it can do, what you can use it for. All right, looking for signals. Long signal YM, long signal ES, short signal Euro US dollar. Okay, watch out for offset entries here on YM and ES. It will go offset if the price hits 105 on YM. If it hits 105, it's an offset entry to go short. Otherwise, it's still a long signal. Okay, gold may go offset. It'll go, or I'm sorry, CL will go offset. It'll go long at 59.38. 59.38 is a long signal. Okay, long signal, offset entry to go long on CL. Euro US dollar is a short signal. It will, however, become a long signal if the price hits 11,662. Otherwise, it's still a short signal. See, if you wait for the offset entries to come, even though you'll miss a lot of trades, you won't ever get faked out by the first one. And then you, you hit the second one, you know. Again, they don't, they don't come around as often, but... And you'll miss a lot, but... You also won't take anywhere near as many losing trades either. And still hit them. Once you can really open up, you want to just take them all. But at first, if you're just trying to build up your account, you could just take the offset entries that are the best to take. Okay. Euro US dollar goes long at. 662 it it already hit 662 it's a long signal on the euro US dollar offset entry to go long see all you gotta do is wait for the offsets then you don't get chopped up all right uh, looking at a new signal here New signal coming up. Okay, looking for a signal. Short signal, CL. Long signal, Euro, US dollar. Short signal, YM. Short signal, ES. 
Okay, Euro US dollar will go offset entry to go short at 660. 660, it's a short signal. Okay, both ES and YM are both short. Uh, CL is short. Six sixty. It's hit six sixty two on the euro. Okay, there it is. Short signal. Offset entry to go short euro US dollar. A lot of offsets. So everything is a short signal. C L E S Y M and Euro US dollar. See you cannot you cannot um compare the power of the codes to being able to tell which direction it's it's going to go and then being able to capitalize on it all you got to do is get your money management down get your your practice down getting in not being afraid Taking the profit, you know, it, it's a learning process, you know, it's a, it's a learning process. It takes practice. It takes time. All right, we'll start uh, working on the uh, lines here uh, shortly. The lines are going to be going up for everything. coming right up. I'll be right back. Okay, there is uh, CL, there is ES, there is YM, Euro US dollar about to break short. Euro US dollar goes short at uh, 621. There it is. Euro US dollar short signal. CL will go short at 59.30. Okay, we've got a main signal here coming up. Main signal. You're going to want to pay attention to this one. Main signal working today. Short signal, Euro, US dollar. Looking for signals. If uh, the ES and YM go short, they should also break the line here and go short there as well. 59.35 CL goes short. There it is, short signal CL. Short signal YM. Wait, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. YM goes short at 97. Didn't hit, didn't hit, hit 98. 97 YM goes short. CL is a short. Uh, Euro US dollar is a short. Okay, it's a short signal on YM. ES will go short at 61.75. 61.75. ES goes short off the main signal. Okay, there it is. Two shorts. Now we're looking for it to break the line. YM breaks at 81. ES breaks at 59.75 Looking for him to break here. Okay, YM is broken. Looking for ES to hit 59.75.
59.75 and they'll both be short. And good for entry. Okay, CL will go short off the lines at 59.30. It, it's a short signal. Okay, ES and YM are threatening to be offset entries. CL almost a short signal there. All right, YM is going to go long. It'll be an offset entry to go long if the price hits 137. If it does not hit 137, then it is still a short signal. Euro US dollar also threatening to go long. Offset entry. It'll go long at 627. It'll be an offset entry to go long at 627. A lot of offsets today. There it is. Offset entry to go long, Euro, US dollar. A lot, a lot of offset entries. This could be good going all the way back up here on the Euro, US dollar. All right. Uh, YM goes long at 137. ES goes long at 67.75. Offset entry to go long. Remember I said you could just wait for the offsets? It has not hit those prices, so it's still a short signal. All right, CL is still a short signal. Euro US dollar went offset long, but it's threatening to be another offset and be a short signal all the way here. Probably is because that's the way it's going with the coat with the uh, lines, but we'll see. Euro US dollar will go short. It'll go offset short if the price hits five nine five ninety. Oh, that's choppy. Okay, offset entry to go short on the Euro US dollar. It's pretty choppy in here. By the way, CL did break short there on the lines. Okay, uh, YM, you see YM broke short, right? But the ES did not. Just to remind all of you, uh, you should wait for both of them to, uh, to, to always break. Uh, you can avoid uh, almost all the losers that way. Okay, Euro US dollar is still an offset entry to go short. And the CL is an offset entry to go long. It's being really tricky around that one right there. But now it's an offset entry to go long. It should continue to go up here. Even though it says it's going to go down on that one. It's, it's being choppy. It's being normal CLs, the range is too big. Let's see if I can see any stocks. ANTX. ATNX. There's not really a whole lot going on, actually. Either way, it got short signal on ES and YM, short signal on CL. Looking for a signal on Euro US dollar. Long signal YM. Oh, wait a second. I'm sorry. No, no, not a long signal. Not a long signal. 
it has to hit 47 to be a long signal 147 okay there it is long signal on YM no signal yet on ES uh, long signal euro US dollar yeah offset entry to go long on YM still a short signal on ES boy it's really getting choppy makes it hard to read okay new signal coming up here short signal euro US dollar short signal ES short signal CL short signal YM okay we've got another signal coming up okay looking for a signal long signal ES long signal YM long signal CL long signal euro US dollar all long signals okay euro US dollar goes short offset entry at 564 564 offset entry to go short it's most likely going to hit continuing on with this uh, with this one here these two lines uh, we're coming up on two more lines here okay there it is a short signal on euro US dollar okay we're coming up on two more lines okay, working on CL here alright there is CL working on euro US dollar okay euro US dollar just went short there CL will go long at 59.58 59.58 CL goes long. Just double top there. Didn't didn't go long. Needs to hit fifty nine fifty eight. No signal yet on ES or YM. Okay, main signal coming up here. Main signal coming up. You want to pay attention to this signal. It's been working all day. Okay, we got a long signal on CL off the lines. Looking for the main signal here. This main signal is what's important. Long signal Euro US dollar. Long signal YM, long signal ES. Long signal CL. That is how you catch them. Okay, we're going to adjust it down here on the Euro US dollar. It's long. It's going to go long off the next one. It's going to keep going here. That is how you catch them. Not too difficult now, is it? Yep, happy Friday. What is it? It's like December out there. Oh man, it must be cold. Oh, it's so nice here. The weather is so warm and beautiful day out today. Really super nice. really super nice it's nice like, like that though year round here in Thailand in, in Phuket one of the guys out from uh, the states came out here uh, in Phuket just recently um, he just he just he stayed in Bangkok for a few days and he came here to Phuket he only stayed one day in Phuket he told me he said uh, 
If he had known how nice Fouquet was, he would have stayed here the whole time. You know, a lot of people don't realize how, how nice it actually is. You just got to go into the tourist area as a tourist. If you go into the tourist area as a tourist, you're good. You're great, David. But if you go there to live, not so good. I could see El go. Whoa, whoa. It's a money making day today on Friday. A money making day today. You see, when the market's really moving, the codes just shine 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 it's just when it gets tight and choppy that you know nothing works anyway you guys all doing good today so far euro US dollar threatening here could be it could be a, a break at the key there come all the way back it's threatening it's a nice 120 tick move up there Okay, uh, the signal is, uh, is, it should be a short, it should be, uh, the Euro US dollar is going to go down now, but it's, it's doing what it was doing before, where it's, um, breaking at the key and going the opposite direction. So it should continue down, but I don't know how far down we'll go. Okay, I'm going to take a little break here. I'll be back for the next two lines. And yeah, we'll put those up. And um, by the way, the uh, Code 2 uh, Big Trade is uh, coming up here. Uh, well, in a little while for the YM and ES. So we still have that one to hit too. Okay, I'll be back in just a little bit for the two more lines. That's good, Frank. That's really good. You are rolling. We've got another uh, good trade coming up on the YM and ES. So uh, that'll be good. And I don't know if you noticed. Well, not next to me, next to the codes, but yeah. Uh, I don't know if you noticed that uh, the last trade, well, you probably didn't because you, you took off for the gym, but uh, the last two lines that we did on the YM and ES were both good quite a few ticks too so of course it's not going to happen today because uh well actually it could happen today yeah it could because today's friday and it's moving i mean it's generally going to get slower and slower as the day goes on but it's moving pretty good today so far so yeah we're doing good which we'll wait till the market opens up a bit too we'll really do good When it opens up, we'll really do good. We'll start to hit hit to hit some uh, trades over and over. Anyway, uh, I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, working on the lines. Okay, there it is for everything. Okay, main code is coming up here. You want to pay attention to this uh, this signal. This one is the one that's working today. It's the one that uh, also the big move came. Okay, pay attention to the signal, not the break. I wouldn't take that break right there. You want to pay attention to this signal. It could go long. Okay, signal coming up. short signal euro US dollar 
looking for signals. CL is going to go short at 59.69. 59.69 CL goes short. It hit 70, not 69. Okay, Euro US dollar threatening to go offset. Short signal on CL. Offset entry to go long, Euro US dollar. Long signal, Euro US dollar. Offset entry to go long. CL will also go short off the lines at 59.47. There it is, 59.47, CL is short. Offset entry to go long on Euro US dollar. No signal yet on ES or YM. I suspect they're going to go long though on the ES and YM. Okay, Euro US dollar getting crazy again. Okay, what it is is this thing is offset, but the way it's offset is making it really choppy. Still no signal on ES or YM. We have short signal on CL, offset entry to go long on Euro US dollar. Okay, uh, the E mini will go short at 66 exactly. YM will go short at 119. Okay, there it is, short signal on ES. That is both the main signal and these lines. It's short. Okay. Yeah, that's an offset entry to go short on the euro. The euro is really offset, really bad today. Looking for the YM to hit 119. Wait a second. Yeah, 119 for it to go short. Make sure to wait for both instruments, ES and YM, to both uh, go in one direction, both give an entry, to both have a signal. Don't just take one when the other hasn't gotten a signal yet. You can avoid most all the losers that way. So we're looking for the YM to hit 119. Okay, here it comes. 124. Twenty one. It hit twenty. So since they did not both generate a short signal, uh, you wouldn't take either one of them. The ES and YM. We do have the uh, code 2 big trade coming up here on the ES and YM. Not these next two lines, but the two lines after that. Long signal here on Euro US dollar. The YM will go short at 119. 28,119. If it hits that price, it means it's a short signal off of the main code and also off of the the lines 119 ES is already short the euro US dollar will go short at 11 249 Okay, uh, YM is short, ES is also short, 
CL has has been short. And uh, I'm working on the two more lines here. Okay, so the YM has gone short. ES goes short at 62.50. It's already hit it. So both the YM and ES are short here. Yep, they're both short. CL goes short at 59.39. 59.39 CL goes short and there it is for the euro US dollar euro US dollar will go long at 11.404 looks good for a pop back up 11.404 um, keep in mind here that uh, the uh, go to big trade coming up here on the YM and ES, the next two lines will be it. Again, CL goes short at 59.39. ES and YM are already short but uh, again the the next two lines are going to be the big trade so you never know what it what it's going to do keep that in mind that uh, it may not continue to keep going down it may go all the way go back up and the next one we get a long signal it could happen Okay, uh, we got to pay attention to this signal here. This is the one that's working all day long today. We don't want to uh, miss this signal. Long signal CL. Long signal YM, long signal ES, long signal Euro US dollar. Okay, the Euro US dollar is probably going to go up and break here. Uh, the break comes at um, 404. Possible offsets coming on YM and ES. YM will go offset short at 81. ES will go offset short at 60.50. Otherwise, they are still long signals. unless they were to hit that price. Then they automatically become offset entries to go short. Okay, CL may go offset entry to go short. It'll go short at 59.40. 59.40 is an offset entry to go short. If it does not hit that price, it is still a long signal. By the way, this entry here on the ES and YM, this is the start of the go to big trade, and it this entry here may be good for that this trade coming up. In other words, you could take it and then just hold it and it'll just be good for the whole time. Right now we have long signal on ES and YM. And long signal on CL. We had the long signal on Euro US dollar. It's threatening to go offset. It'll go offset at 335. 
335 it goes short offset entry there it is short signal on euro US dollar offset entry to go short see if you just wait for the offsets to come you, you can nail these trades you don't nail all of them but you just you hit enough of them and they're just winners that it just works you know and with four different instruments to play, you've got lots of offsets to, to, to play with, you know. You just take them as they come. Okay, I think there's a good chance that uh, ES and YM are going to have come down and broken, and then they'll go all the way back the other way. And that this is the beginning move right here of a, of a much larger move that's going to happen going up. Because we're going into its big trade and it's given long signal off of the main uh, signal so it, it I could see it here just continuing to go up this is what it keeps doing over and over breaking right the key and then going up and then going to the other side it's doing the same exact pattern again backed up by a long signal off the main co. So I think it's going to continue to go up here and continue to go up and basically all you have to do is hold it, get the next two lines, see them break long, and then hold it. Could have a 80, 100 tick trade here. Actually from your current position uh, it would be much larger, probably like a maybe 200 well let's see maybe not quite that much let me see here well let's just put it this way you have a much bigger trade than than what you would have so you'd normally have about 80 ticks and you probably get like an extra 50 so like 130 ticks call it call it just a hundred ticks should be good might be able to squeeze a little more out of it though you see how easy this actually is it just what it is is it takes time and experience to be able to see it All right, Euro US dollar continuing with its move of an offset entry to go short. It's going to go short off the lines here at 260. 260, it's a short signal. Hit 262. There it is. Short signal on the Euro US dollar. Hmm, nice move. Let's see, it doesn't look like the Euro, the YM's going to hold here. It had already given a short signal, and now we have a second short on the ES. The only way it would be if it goes offset. No signal yet on YM though. YM may go long and then the ES also go long and follow. Okay, no, it's a short signal on the YM as well. It looks like it wants to come down here. Okay, well, confirmation then is when it breaks when it hits 81 on the YM it's okay to go short on it 81 on the YM and for the ES it's okay to go short on it at 60.50 until then there's still long signals eighty one on the YM it's a short signal
This isn't exactly an offset entry to go short, not really. Um, but uh, it's still it's still going to be a short signal because we had gotten a short signal off the off the two lines here. Okay, YM almost going short. Hit 83. Hit 82. Maybe one is short. Sixty point fifty on the ES. Okay, uh, YM went short, and ES is also short. Both of them are short. Okay, we are getting very close to another two lines, and this is going to be the go-to big trade on the YM and ES coming up. Okay, working on the lines here. This is going to be the big trade for ES and YM. Okay, but watch out. We have a signal coming up. Let me call out this signal. CL has already broken long. There it is for CL. Uh, long signal on ES and YM. Long signal on Euro US dollar. Alright, paying attention to the signals here. Looks like we're going to get an offset entry on the Euro US dollar to go short. It'll go short at 222. 222, it'll go short. Offset entry to go short on the Euro US dollar. CL. CL is a long signal. Long signal on ES, long signal on YM. Also a long signal on, uh, on Euro US dollar too. It's also a long signal. It's just that if it were to hit that price, 222 it would be a short signal. Okay, now uh, it's important to uh, uh, to realize that whichever way it breaks here on these lines on the ES and YM, this is the big trade. And you know something, I did that wrong. Okay, let me redo it. Okay. So the YM has has already broken short on the lines. However, we want to go with the main signal. ES needs to be adjusted too. Okay. Now, we've gotten sh uh, short signals, but I don't take them. You want to go by this main signal here. Uh, for the euro US dollar it was a long for oil it was a long we're looking for for, for YM and ES it's a long everything's a long but we're looking for possible offset entries on ES and YM otherwise they are long signals and should continue to go long here yeah, I think they're going to go up. The ES and YM, I think they're going to go up. They're going to do it this time. They didn't do it last time. I think they're going to do it this time. They're going to go up all the way. They didn't do it on the last one. Came back down. and Broke below. This time I think it's going to hold. It's going to go all the way up. Break the high. And then shoot up higher. Okay, we've got a signal coming up here on the YM and ES. Last time it gave a short signal in this position. If I'm right and it's going to continue to go all the way up, it would give a long signal here most likely. And not another short. Otherwise it would it would likely come all the way down. So we're looking for a signal here off of this uh off of the next signal coming. I think it's going to be a long. OK, 
Okay, looking for a signal. If it goes short, however, uh, it would probably go, go down. That's what it did last time. Go down and then continue to go down and break below the bottom. Short signal on CL. Short signal ES. Short signal YM. All right, watch for it to come back down now then. It's doing the same exact thing it just did. It's been a long signal on Euro US dollar. And short signal on CL. Okay, now we just need to watch out for offset entries here. Could get them and they go long instead. 6375 is a long signal on ES, offset entry to go long. On YM, it will be, it's already come, long, offset entry to go long on YM. Offset entry to go long on ES, they're both long signals. If it were to hit uh, 74, you'd want to be out, out of it, out of the trade. Okay, we've got another signal coming up here. Okay, it's offset entry to go long on YM, and it's a long signal on ES, and long signal on Euro US dollar, and a short signal on CL, and looking for another signal here. Looking for a signal. Long signal ES. Long signal YM, short signal CL, short signal Euro US dollar. Okay, it's working itself up all the way to the other end. That's what I still think it's going to do. It's going to go all the way up. And the next two lines, well, uh, well, okay, it, it'll break this line up here. But the next two lines also should break long. A short signal on Euro US dollar. Okay, wait a second here. Okay, we have an offset entry to go long on CL. Long signal on CL. Offset entry to go long. And a short signal on Euro US dollar. That one could also be offset. Or CL could be offset. One of them could be offset. Okay, CL will go short. Offset entry at 77. 77, it's an offset entry to go short on CL. Euro US dollar is already a short signal. Watching for offset entries here. Okay, offset entry to go short on CL, uh, short signal on Euro US dollar. We still have long signals on ES and YM, but watching for an offset entry to go short. Okay, we're going to get another signal. Okay, looking for a signal here. Long signal CL. Long signal YM. Long signal Euro US dollar. Getting closer and closer for the Euro to go all the way up. Okay, now, uh, gonna be working on, uh, let me go ahead and work on the lines now. Okay. All right, so let's see. Uh, CL has broken long. Long signal on CL. 
no signal on euro US dollar um, let's let's adjust this line right here technically it's already broken but let's just be careful and adjust it right to there just be a little bit on the careful side okay so now ES will go long if it hits 68.50 YM will go long if it hits 118 or um, 129 129 YM goes long Let's see CL okay uh, for all of these entries right here we have a uh, uh, main signal coming up here you want to pay attention to this main signal whichever way it goes main signal coming up watch out for the reversal here on CL watch out for it to go short here on CL and break and then go back the other way go short looking for the signal okay YM has broken we're looking for the main signal though because it's off of this and it's really going to move it could break and then reverse okay signal coming up long signal ES long signal YM short signal CL euro US dollar goes short at 222 222 long signal on ES and YM short signal on CL short signal on euro US dollar looking for the for the break hit 222 okay watch out uh, YM goes offset entry to go short at 121 121 is an offset entry to go short and it would most likely come all the way down 121 I would take it ES same thing ES is about to go short at 6725 it'll be an offset entry to go short CL is still a short signal and ES and YM are still long signals here they're technically long signals right now but if they hit that price where I told you then they, they automatically turn into short signals offset entries to go short I think it would probably go long and then yeah I'm not sure about that just follow follow the signals here Okay, ES and YM are still long signals right now. 222 is short signal on euro. There it is, short signal on the euro US dollar. Again, ES and YM are still long signals. Okay, uh, offset entry to go long on CL. CL is a long signal, offset entry to go long. Both ES and YM are looking good here for a nice move up on both of them CL might also make a good move up here as you can see euro US dollar has just been on a nice decline all the way down let's see what it can do okay working on the lines here CL about to go short here. Go short at uh, fifty nine eighty four. Looks good for coming down. Okay, 
ES has already gone long. Looking for the YM to go long at uh, 136. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One one forty six. So wait a second, one forty six, and it's already gone long right there. No, it didn't. Okay. Okay, it needs to hit one forty six to go long. CL going short at uh, eighty four. Okay, YM is long, ES is long. Okay, watch out for this main main uh, signal here. Looks like it's going to be offset to me. Okay, it's already offset right now on the YM. All right, looking for the signal. Short signal YM. Offset entry to go short YM. Short signal ES. Alright, watch for it to come all the way back. All the way back and break the, the two, two, two bottom lines there. No signal on CL yet. short signal on euro US dollar we had gotten a long signal on CL and CL will go long at the lines here at uh, 6001 it's most likely going to go up here on CL 6001 is the signal euro US dollar going short at 186 it just hit 187 186 it goes short there okay both EM or e ES and YM looking to go long here 149 just double top look for uh, the YM to hit 149 then it's safe to go long on it ES is already safe to go long, but you want to see the YM also. Oh, Euro US dollar dropping out good there. I also want to see the, the YM do the same thing. Then they're safe to take on either one of them. You can go long on it. Euro doing good there. Let's drop. Okay, these uh, last two lines that I'm going to do here will be all I'm going to do for today. But just to show you uh, what happened yesterday. We'll go to the five minute and we'll back up a bit here. Show yesterday's trading. Having some kind of a trouble with the chart for some reason. Okay, back up to yesterday. And you'll see the last two lines that I did worked and went all the way up on both the e ES and the YM. So these last two here could be good again. In fact, uh, I think they probably will. But I won't be here to see it because I am going to be going to sleep. It's late here for me. Almost one o'clock in the morning. So I will be back just a little bit here to do two more lines. And uh, it wasn't good for CL, and I wouldn't use it for the Euro, but it's good for the YM and ES. Okay, YM and ES looking to break here. YM goes long at 149. ES goes long at 71. Point two five. 
Again, these are the last two lines I'm going to do, and these lines have been working all, all week long. So there's a good chance that they'll work again and be good for a good size trade. Well, today's Friday, so I wouldn't expect too much out of them, but uh, should be good for a, a, a good trade, though, I think. I will be getting going, both long signals there, I will be getting going in about uh, 10 minutes or so. So how'd you guys do today? That's not bad. 90 ticks on YM, 20 ticks gold, and 10 ticks oil. Not too bad, not too bad. 100 ticks a day will keep the bill collectors away. Yeah, it'll uh, get a lot better. Like today, uh, when the market picks up, we'll be able to hit some serious trades. Plus on stocks, uh, right now stocks are a little bit on the weak side as far as like you know there's there's a lot of stuff moving here but not moving very much usually I like to take this something that's moving a, an extreme amount and trade it well, I'm glad you guys are doing well and uh, as, like I said, the, as the market picks up, we'll do a lot better because the system really shines when the market picks up. When it's really moving around, it'll move around a lot between all of the signals and really move, you know, allowing you to close your eyes and hit the exit button and, and make make uh, make good trades, you know, make make good money. Okay, we do have a um, main signal coming up here. For instance, if you're long on either the ES or YM, you'd really like to see this main signal go long as well. If it didn't, that would create a potential problem. Oil will go long at uh, 6010. Alright, looking for a signal. Okay, it's a long signal on the ES, long signal YM, so it's going with it right there. That looks good. And um, I, I wouldn't really expect the, e, the CL or the Euro to really do much more today. Uh, it's really all about the ES and YM. Once they, they shoot up a little bit, that's basically going to be it for the day. Okay, I am going to uh, go off mic here and uh, I'm going to uh, stop the room in about 10 minutes or so. Uh, so have a great weekend and uh, I will see you on Monday for some more trading. Have a great weekend everyone.